Hi ladies, so this is the brand new series that I have for you all, Why You Can't Keep a Man. So this is meant to educate you on how you can pretty much be able to fix the issues and problems that you're having that's keeping you from getting the kind of man that you want. So yeah, so we're going to break this down into a few different series so you can pretty much soak up the knowledge that I'm giving you that you can pretty much apply so you can have the kind of man that you want. Okay, so number one, the main reason why you can't keep a man or keep a husband is your attitude. Attitude can make or break a lot of women. And then you got to think about this too, y'all. So if a man is having to go out there in the world and and it's already tough enough being a man anyway, because now it's a, you know, you making money, making things happen because nobody just gives men anything. They got to earn whatever they have. So, you know, so pretty much um, the man doesn't want to come home to a woman getting on his nerves or destroying his peace and just working his last nerve. And then he don't want to have to deal with that, though. So definitely the attitude will pretty much break. Actually, attitude does break a lot of women. So you'll find a lot of women that, okay, some women who actually look nice, okay, so that's fine, you know, but then the attitude is just, you know, it just, you know, it just, it's difficult for a man to deal with you long term because of your attitude. When it comes down to you, you know, being a rebel, you know, so it's like men don't want to really, really deal with that seriously, you know, especially, yeah. so men, are, a lot of guys will deal with that, you know, for one night or whatever, or just for a few hours, just to, it's just, it's to mess around with you, but, you know, but you want to pretty much be able to be a place of peace for a man that you want and he shouldn't have to you know he he don't want to go inside the house because you got to hear your mouth on different things and how you feel about this and yeah you know, he don't want to deal with all that stuff though he has enough stress as it is so so yes yeah, so your attitude and then one thing that guys look for which uh, this people says a whole lot is pretty much uh, um two qualities that men look for smart men smart men look for in a woman Number one, she's coachable. So when she's coachable, she's going to have a good attitude and then you can work with her. But yeah, but she's pretty much the kind of woman that woman that she did, she knows it all. Can't nobody tell her nothing. She's not coachable and men are going to stay away from you, especially seriously. You know, they're not going to commit to you or want to be with you long term as if you're that difficult to be with. But yeah, and also the other quality that men look for in a woman and taking her seriously is the woman that's cooperative. I tell people all the time, if a woman really, really likes you, she's gonna make it easy for you and she's gonna cooperate. When a woman don't like you, she's gonna be making you do horse and pony shows and all that other stuff though. You gotta just constantly keep, you know, jump and do hoops and all that stuff though, just to keep her attention. That means that she don't like you. She's just using you for just a source of entertainment. And then and yes, you're just the mark and you're just, you know, you're just the, the, the lick, you know. So, but yeah, so definitely, that's definitely a cheat code right there. Those are the two things that men qualify a woman to know that, okay, she's worth me taking seriously. Does she, is she cooperative and is she coachable? So if you're not coachable and you're, and you're not cooperative, a real man is not going to not take you seriously. So, all right. So, yeah, so... Like I was saying too, you know, so that was number two. You're not cooperative. So women be thinking that pretty much, okay, you know, I'm I'm gonna make it work for this, I'm gonna make it work for that, and everything, you know. So like by myself, I don't work hard getting with no woman. I work hard on my business, I work hard on my body. I don't work hard getting with nobody. <laughs> I, I don't. So, yeah, so pretty much, but what I know is that if a woman's really feeling you, she's going to be cooperative. She's going to, yeah, so with me, I only deal with women who have high interest in me. When a woman has little to no interest, and then that's why she's so uncooperative. That's the reason why. So, if a woman is really feeling you, she's going to be cooperative. So, ladies, so you got to pretty much get in the habit, okay, if you're feeling a guy, you got to pretty much be cooperative, and then just... Be willing to find a guy that you that, that you like enough and respect for you to go and get with his program and find out what he's lacking in his life and if and then be able to present that as a as something that you can actually add to the you know you can add to his life that can pretty much make you stand out versus the other women. So so yeah so 
you know, on, on TV, and, and this is the part, you know, that kind of like blows me. I think about this though too. Hey ladies, pay attention. Are you tired of not looking for your best because you have not found out a way to stay consistent with your diet and exercise because you're hating work schedule, trying to climb the corporate ladder? It's not your fault, ladies. The system I want to teach you about online training, it's not about working with you on Zoom, doing virtual training. No, ladies, that's not going to work long term. I develop a system where I can actually give my clients a customized meal plan and workout plan made just for them to help them accomplish their fitness goals while I can make sure that they do it every day in real time. I learned that if I can't actually track my client's diet, it doesn't really matter how much they work out. They're not gonna get in great shape. This is why my online clients are getting in shape better than the one-on-one -on -one clients that I had. Tell you what, based on your goal of you wanting to stay consistent and motivated long-term, I might be able to help you. The next step is for you to fill out the application. It takes five to 10 minutes and I will review your application and send you a personalized video showing what I believe would be good to help you. And one more thing, this is not a cheap cookie cutter program. This is made for my clients' specific needs and lifestyle. So if you're lazy, don't even fill out the application. Is um, I mean, social media and then like like these female rappers, you know, this city girl lifestyle when these other women just tell y'all about being independent and they get all that stuff they tell y'all just that these women have been selling y'all a dream while they're at home with their husband or their man. These women are in relationships. I think about this too, how Beyonce would say, "Oh, the independent lady, all the other stuff that that or whatever." She been with Jay Z on on locks forever. You know, so, but yeah, but one thing about Beyonce that I do have to say is, uh, she listens to Jay-Z, she listens to Jay-Z, and then, um, and she, she's like pretty much one of the real women that she actually made pretty much all the right, I say for the most part, she made the right choices, so I, I have to give her that, you know, but once again, she makes money by telling you women that you don't need a man, you need to be independent, it's all my single ladies, you know, so yeah, so she, she sells that image to y'all, but then she don't live that image, you know, she all about, you know, her husband and her family, you know, so yeah, just like I, even, even, even Sierra, the same thing, you know, Sierra just, you know, tells y'all, tell you all that, yeah, my ladies, single ladies, all this other this, you know, you don't need a man, they tell y'all all this, though, while they're married to a man, you know, who's pretty much doing stuff for them, and then, other thing is you gotta think about this too. Like these women, you know, um, they have, you know, their looking order. So you know, so so Sierra can go and pretty much like, mess up and then you know and just have kids with guys like Future and then still get a guy like Russell Wilson because she's she's uh, pretty much uh, she's in, in that circle of people where she can meet guys that have money and and have things going on like that so she's in that crew where she can meet those kind of people and then she still has her looks to fall back on so and, and then so yeah so pretty much so uh, so what works for her is going to not work for most women so yes so that's what i wanted to go and break down so that was number two so you're not cooperative number three is you have unrealistic expectations Yes, yes, unrealistic expectations. So, and this is one thing that um, I didn't realize that it was this bad until Kevin Samuel's show, you know, just showed it. Is I didn't, I mean, I knew that it was bad since I've been a trainer and I, I, I knew that most black American women are overweight because the average black American woman is 187 pounds and she's 5'4". So, yes, yeah, so, you know, so pretty much. But the problem is, is, um, the average black American woman doesn't want an average man, you know, and then they look at it like, okay, if he's an average man, he should deal with an overweight woman. But if you think about this, though, back in the 80s and 90s, women didn't weigh as much as the women now. So even though people talk about how the food is so bad, but yeah, I mean, okay, so the food is bad, but it's still, it's more so the lifestyle. The lifestyle, and these women are eating too much. Eating too much, and then it's like the culture of laziness, you know, just everything's about quick this, quick that, you know, I, I just want to get a BBL, I want to just be a boss chick, you know, so, yeah, so, man, so, yeah, so, 
the average woman wants a man, you know, who's uh, pretty much higher than her when it comes down to image, you know, status, you know, so she wants a man that makes a hundred thousand. He's six foot and then, you know, he packing. They want all that stuff, but then, okay, you know, what do they have that he want? You know, he wants a woman that's fit. He wants a woman that's, that she's fit, that she's cooperative, you know, so, so yeah, so that's what he want. So, yeah, so, you know, you, you, you have to go and realize, okay, if I'm not getting this kind of man that I want, what am I doing wrong? Have I spent enough time studying the kind of man that I want so I can pretty much be able to present a deal that he actually would want to pick me over the next shit. So, yeah, so, but a lot of times, you know, women don't think about stuff like that. Okay, how can I pretty much, you know, um, get this kind of man because a lot of women are confused because they can get guys to want to have sex with them, but that don't mean nothing, you know. Any woman can get a guy to have sex with them. The main test for a woman is what quality man can she get to uh, commit to her long term or marry her or be a long term relationship. That's the main test for a woman, you know. So, but yeah, so when you have unrealistic expectations, you're setting up yourself to be single and you're setting up, setting up yourself to fail. So, yes. Okay, and now this, this goes into the fifth reason why most women, most modern women, can't keep a man or a husband is because they don't care about what he wants. They just want what they want. So, yeah, so if you haven't taken the time to find out what he wants and then, like, the kind of woman that he likes and, and, and what qualities that he looks for in a relationship, long term, you're not going to be able to get the kind of man that you want long term. So, yeah, so you just, you have to do your research. Okay, so I like this kind of guy. So this kind of guy, okay, he needs this. Okay, and it's still just, you got to just, just be competitive when it comes down to dating. So, okay, so you have to look at it as pretty much every woman thinks that her box is the best and all that stuff. Like every woman thinks that, but, you know, but, but. <laughs> Every woman thinks that, but then, but but they're not getting the kind of man that they want in the end, seriously, long term. So that means that you need to humble yourself and say, okay, you know, so let me go and spend some more time on me, pretty much finding out what the kind of man that I like, like in a woman, and let me go see how I can pretty much be be able to, uh, you know, to just uh, uh to add value to his life. And now it's the funny thing that I see before how women would say when you ask a woman, uh, what do you bring to the table? And she says, I am the table. So that's that's the that's the damn biggest smoke screen there is, you know. So if a woman told me that, I'm ending the date right then and there. <laughs> you know, yeah, so man oh man, you know, so but yeah, but pretty much, you know, you have to spend time knowing more about the kind of man that you want. Cause ladies Men are the buyers, so that's why it don't really matter what your other friends think or or, or what other women think. It matter what the men think, cause the men are the ones that's gonna, that's gonna pick you. Especially, you know, if you want to find a man that you actually respect. You know, I'm not just talking about just the guy who just want to have sex with you. That don't even count. So you gotta spend time knowing and seeing what does the kind of man that you want, you know, uh, want in a woman, and you gotta know and spend enough time knowing what men think. What men think and how men feel about things. So I so I hope this video wasn't that brutal, but I wanted to give you all some tips that's gonna help you to be able to finally be able to get the kind of man that you want long term and how you ladies still can win. So yeah, so you definitely can still win, you know, but you just have to just do your homework and you gotta pretty much, you know, position yourself as an asset to a man's life instead of a headache and a liability. See you all next time.